Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video, I have this really grungy, sultry vibes makeup look that's really easy to do. You do not need to be neat with this and I absolutely love the way it turned out. If you would like to see how to create this makeup look, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up if you're feeling generous today and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Pew pew, subscribe. And yeah, let's just carry on with the video. So I thought I would include my brows in this video just because I haven't included them in a few recent tutorials. So I'm first going to take my Primark Iconic Brow. This doesn't actually have a shade, although it is literally just like a medium brown colour and it's a brow pomade. I actually really, really like this stuff. I tend to use it on most days. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm first starting by taking this brow spoolie from La Boite Soy. <laughs> I always butcher the name, but I will link them down below. They very kindly sent me out these brushes and they are amazing and they're pink which obviously means I naturally love them. My brows are being very strange right here. Okay I'm just going to keep brushing them up so I've got like a nice smooth base to work with. My hearing has gone again I think my what's it called your like glands are all blocked. I don't feel ill but as you could tell my body is forcing me to yawn to try and clear it, so I need to go get that sorted sometime soon. Once my brows are all brushed through, I'm going to take this brush from Eek Show. It's just a thin, angled, synthetic brush. I'm going to go into the pomade and then just wipe off the excess on the side of the jar. Then I'm going to start filling in my brows, starting from the bottom of the brow. This is just how I personally like to do my eyebrows. Then I drag the product across to the front of the brow. Everyone is so different when it comes to eyebrows and honestly just do them however you want to. I have yet to try out soap brows and I feel like I really want to try them. So let me know if you want me to do a video on like trying new different methods of brows because I feel like there's so many these days so many different brows then once the underneath is underlined I'm just going to go ahead and do the same above the brow so basically outlining it I do like quite a bold brow that's just kind of how I like to wear my makeup especially when the rest of my face is bold although I don't know sometimes I like my brows natural I don't know I'm in two minds about everything Gemini life so I'm just going around my brows and then just curving it when I get to the edge and pulling it down. Doesn't matter if it's not really neat at this point because you can fix it later on with concealer. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my eyebrow. And then just take my spoolie to brush out kind of like the excess product and just make it blend in a little bit more. I know they look obviously like drawn on, but I just feel like this helps to like make them mesh well with the brow hairs. Then to tidy up the brows and prime the lids, I'm going to go in with my Bella Pia makeup base. I love this. I've been using this so much recently. It's just a light beige colour and it's really really good for underlining the brow and priming the lid. I'm going to put that on with like this angled lip brush. So I'm just loading up the brush and then I'm going to go underneath the brow just underlining it to really define it. And then I use the rest of the product just all across that lip. I always take it right in that inner corner as well because I have a little bit of like blue colouring just there so I like to help with the concealing. Now I'm just kind of like smoothing out the product as best as I can with the brush. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my ring finger and just press in the product so it's really smooth. Then I'm going to set that base into place using this powder from Natural Collection. This is the pressed powder in the shade Cool. And I am going to set this base because I'm not going like a crazy cut crease or anything. So there's no need to make the colours look really intense. It's going for a more grungy vibe. And to set the base, I'm going to use this brush from La Boute Soy. It's so fun to say. And this is like a fluffy angled brush. Just anything fluffy will really do for this. I'm just going to load up the brush with the powder tap off the excess and then I just press over the crease one more time so there are no crease marks and then just set the base into place. 
Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm not applying any shimmers for this look. I've actually created this little face quad in a little Z palette, which has a mixture of Anastasia, and I believe that one there is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna do is just create a very basic, grungy, smoky eye. That's really easy to recreate, super simple, and the messier, the better, to be completely honest. So, the first shade that I'm gonna take is this one right here, which is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee eyeshadow. I'm not completely sure if she still makes it. I will link it down below if she still does. Alternatively, I will put a, another shadow instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this shadow right here. You just need one that's kind of like two to three shades darker than your natural skin tone. So I'm just going into the shadow and the brush that I'm using is a Sigma E40 blending brush. After tapping off the excess, I'm just going to start by blending this into the crease of my eye. Not being too neat with this at all, just really blending that in, just so the other shades have something easier to blend into. So just go back and forth, little circular motions, really gently. I'm holding the brush quite far down the handle. If I was to hold it here, it would be really rough. So I'm holding it quite far down the handle just to get a really soft blend. I feel like the top I'm wearing is super like grungy and perfect for this look actually. It's kind of like the acid wash kind of print. I'm gonna do the lower lash line after I've done my face because I want the lower lash line to be really smoky and this lip to almost be a little bit bottom heavy. So if I do the rest of the eye look afterwards on the lower lash line, that then it won't kind of like go away when I do the concealer. Next I'm going to take my Primark 230 blending brush and go into this shade right here which is Anastasia Beverly Hills Birkin eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that and just further up define the crease bringing it slightly further down. We really are bringing it into that inner corner as well. Basically going around the socket I want this to be a bit more of a like rounded blown out look. Then for the lid shade, I'm going to take this one right here, which is called Sienna, which is a bit more of like a warmer, chocolatey brown. And I'm going to take it on a, so either 227 Lux Soft Definer brush. I'm just going to go into the shadow and then pack that on top of the lid and kind of blend it into the crease a little bit. So just kind of like tapping that across the lid. Just slowly building up that colour and then just blend it into the crease. Don't be afraid to go right into that inner corner as well. Just makes it look so much smokier. Then I'm going to take that Birkin shade again and just go over the edge of this to kind of like soften it out. Now for the grunging up of the look, I'm going to go in with the Technic Coal Eyeliner Pencil. This is just in the shade black and I'm going to take it and smudge it along the upper lash line. And then I'm going to take a stiff pencil brush just to really smudge it out. Then just going in with the pencil brush and just blending this out. To really smoke it up, I'm now going to go into the shade right here, which is called Deep Brown from Anastasia, with the same brush that we use for the liner. I'm literally just going to go straight on top of it. While I've got it in my hand, I'm going to quickly take the eyeliner pencil and use this to line my waterline and my tight line as well. Now I'm going to pop on several lashings of mascara and I'm going to be taking my Technic Mega Lash Water Resistant Mascara. I've just had a coffee about an hour ago and now I have a little bit of the shakes so wish me luck. <laughs> just curling my lashes beforehand. Then I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are the Eyelaw 141 Exaggerate Lashes. You can't really see them because I've used them before and popped them back in the packet. But they're basically just really like wispy eyelashes and I think this will go perfectly with this look. The lashes are on, now it's time to move on to the face. I'm going to start with my Primark Primer Water. I love this stuff and plus it's really freaking hot in my room so I need something to cool me down. Give this a good shake, spray it all over. Oh, so nice. Then 
for my like heavy duty primer if you will I'm going to take the Primark Instagirl Selfie Ready Blur Primer which is like a smoothing primer so I'm going to massage this into the like troublesome areas first so chin nose forehead always and then the rest on the rest of the face just gonna work that in between my fingers and work this into the face For foundation, I'm going to take my well-loved The Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 3 and my Spicy Choco Blush Blend Sponge. I'm just going to squeeze them on and dab this all over the face. I feel like with a grungy look, um, matte foundation is always the key, which is good because that's my favourite finish of foundation. Oh, the cold sponge feels so nice on my face. I'm gonna be a bit bougie now and take my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's like a cream bronzer. And I'm gonna use this to kind of cream bronze slash cream contour the face. I'm just gonna take this kind of like pointed top kabuki style brush and go into the product and then start kind of like dabbing it in the areas I want it before I blend it out. going to use the same brush that I used to apply it to blend it out. really like this product, I don't know why I don't use it more often. It's really like natural looking, glowy, love it. Then for concealer I'm going to take my Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade All Men and just conceal my usual places, so forehead, under the eyes and chin. I did that backwards, but you know what I meant, hopefully. Then I'm going to blend it in with the same Spicy Choco sponge. Then I'm going to set everything into place using the Natural Collection Powder from earlier. I'm just going to start by pressing this into the skin. Now onto my lower lash line, I'm going to take the same eyeliner pencil from earlier and just run this underneath the lower lash line before smudging it out with that same dark brown that we used to smudge out the upper lash line. Look at the difference, so sultry. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Sienna and just run that underneath the deep brown almost black shade to really smudge this out and then I'm just gonna fade out the outer edge a little bit as well just so it blends in nicely with the foundation. Moving on to contour now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills light to medium contour kit and I am going to take the shade Java which is this one right here to contour with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number three brush. I'm just going to contour under my cheekbones, temples, under the jaw, nose etc just to add some shape to the face especially with such like a dark eye I feel like the face can kind of fade out otherwise. Then I'm going to take this powder right here, which is Max Emphasize Pro Powder. Or you can use like a vanilla powder in a contour kit. I just want to use this because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm taking it on my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush, which is the F03. But I'm just going to put that in the same place as I put the concealer to really like brighten up the face. Not that it needs any brightening because I look very pale on camera. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Glow and just bronze out the outer perimeters of my face. I'm skipping blush and highlight as I want this to be very like a matte look. So I'm moving on to Primark's Matte Setting Spray. Now I'm just going to put some tinted brow gel through my brows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. into your brows while doing the rest of your makeup. Then I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes and I can be quite heavy with this. 
for lips I'm going to take Max Chicory lip liner and I'm going to do a little bit of an ombre lip. I've just had to open the window so I'm sorry if you can hear like background noise but it's so hot in my room. first shade that I'm going to take for my lips is Anastasia Beverly Hills Vamp Liquid Lipstick and I'm just going to put this around the whole of my lip. And then for the ombre part of it I'm going to take Ashton Liquid Lipstick also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm doing like the MySpace pose for some reason. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this right in the center of the lip. And then use this little synthetic brush to kind of like blend it out. And this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love it. It's giving me like Taylor Momsen vibes. Gossip Girl, you know, when she goes down her like troubled route. I really, really like this look. It feels super grungy and I like the fact that my top kind of goes with it. If you did enjoy watching this tutorial, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world. And don't forget to subscribe. It would also mean the world. It really, really does. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Just realised nothing I have. Then to tidy up the brows and... Then to tidy up the, <laughs> the better and the these are the aisle. I the first shade for my lips is Aaron. Uh,